Here's a one mile check-in. It's about 8.50 a.m. in the morning. And uh, got up this morning about 6.30. Uh, started raining about seven o'clock. Um, just some light rain. Uh, rained for about an hour. Finally finished about eight o'clock. Um, had a quick breakfast packed up and uh, hit the trail. Uh, looks like a couple hours earlier than I did yesterday. So hopefully I can uh, uh, make put in some miles here today. Foot's still bugging me. Um, took some vitamin I or ibuprofen this morning. So hopefully that'll kick in and things will get better. So I'll check in a little later. Good morning, it's mile one check-in. Got a chance to look at some of the video from yesterday and what I figured out was um, during these updates, it seemed to be good to do the updates about every mile. Um, but I also noticed that uh, I need to stop ta or start talking less in each update. 11 mile hike yesterday ended up being about 16 or so minutes. There really wasn't a lot of room if I wanted to add pictures that I took along the way and things like that. So going forward, I need to um, shorten these. So bye bye. Okay, this is mile three update, about three miles out of Alexandra Springs. It's about 70, the sun finally came out. I was hoping it would um, stay away today, but right now the sun's coming out. Just check the uh, weather, it's about 70 degrees right now. It's like a high of 74, so it's not gonna get that much warmer. So that's fine. It's like a chance of rain, maybe a little bit later this evening. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about what I am seeing right now on the trail, just kind of going through a um, green tunnel. Hello, it's four mile check-in. It's about uh, 10 o'clock maybe. I got a chance last night before bed to work a little bit with the Luma Fusion software, and I think it's going to work out just great. Probably took me about 30 minutes, maybe at the most, to pull in the videos from yesterday and to um, add the uh, title and, and uh, the end and uh, save it. And actually tried to upload it last night. However, must have lost the um, internet connection because in the middle of the night it stopped. So I'll have to try that again a little bit later. So check in a little bit later. Well, I just made it to mile number five. It's about 10.30 in the morning. So this is about the same time I left yesterday and I've got five miles in, so that's a good thing. Need to try to do a little bit better eating today. Yesterday when I hiked, um, it's only about 11 and a half uh, miles. All I did really was just snack a little bit along the way. I didn't really stop and, and uh, take a break and fix lunch and, and all. So I think have a feeling I brought way too much food. Um, and um, most of the items from yesterday didn't really get eaten. So need to do a little bit better job at that today. So since I got a little bit earlier start, hopefully we'll stop around lunchtime and um, actually fix lunch and take a little break and then uh, continue after that. See you soon. Wanted to stop and show another water source here along the Florida Trail. This is uh, about six, five and a half. Yeah, about five and a half miles north of Alexander Springs. It's a little water source called Doris Pond, and it actually looks pretty good with easy access to it. This is a six mile check-in. It's about uh, 10.30, or I'm sorry, 11.04 um, in the morning and um, making progress. Still having foot issues. I've had problems for a while and uh, I've been upping my miles at home, uh, daily miles and weekend miles uh, for a while now in preparation of Colorado next year. And I think I uh, have, I think what they call it plantar fasciitis, I think is how you say it. So I've been doing the stretches and icing and the things that they say to uh, help with that, but doesn't seem to be going away. So I think uh, after this weekend, and I have to basically stop walking and stay off from it and do some rest along with those exercises for a while. See if I can get rid of this. This is mile seven update. It's about 11.30 in the morning. Just stopped to have some lunch, uh, which was really good. Had some chicken wraps and uh, taking a little break here and um, got off my feet, got the backpack off and um, 
refreshed and ready to um, put in some more miles. So we'll catch you a little bit. This is an eight mile check-in. It's about 12.30 and uh, just stopped here on this little, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but this little view. Um, fun fact, I think I've seen about probably a half a dozen bear scats uh, since I left Alexander Springs. Um, so I guess they're just letting us know that they're in the area. So that basically means that there's been more bear, I think probably on the Florida Trail than there have hikers today. I did see one hiker since, um, yesterday morning. Um, he's the first one I've seen, I guess, since I left yesterday. He was heading southbound. And other than that, that's all I've seen out here uh, today. See you in a bit. This is a nine mile check-in. It's about uh, a little after one o'clock in the afternoon. And trail goes right by this huge lake here. It's called Farless, I believe is the name of it, uh, lake. Need to try to find, figure out where I'm going to camp at tonight. There's, um, a few sites within three miles of here put me around the 12 mile or so mark. Uh, unfortunately, the next one after that wouldn't be until mile 20 something. So um, start looking for some place to camp here soon. This is a mile 10 check-in. It's about 1.38 in the afternoon. And just wanted to uh, elaborate on, on camping. Um, unfortunately, and depending on the section all that you're in, you're kind of limited on where you can camp at. Uh, there's no restrictions, but obviously if you can look around see this trail, it's really no place to pitch a tent. So you're really uh, dependent upon those um, designated sites that you see in, in reference materials. One of them being the Florida Trail Guide, another one being Far Out, which is gut hooks. And both get, do a really good job of showing you where water sources, campsites, things like that are. Um, so that helps a lot. Okay, this is mile 11 update. It's about 2.02 .02 in the afternoon and uh, still making, making progress. Forgot to mention yesterday what I did from a logistics perspective. We ended up bringing, I think I mentioned that we brought two cars up. So we parked one car up at the uh, 88 store and then uh, drove down to Clearwater Lake and I was dropped off there and then my wife took the second car home with her. So basically I have to get to the 88 store if I want to get home. Um, so that on Sunday. So that's it for now. Bye bye. Hello, this is a mile 12 check-in. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon and it looks like I only have about maybe um, uh, a couple tenths of a mile to camp. Um, see if I can find it here. So I'll do another update after I get in and settled in camp. Uh, it's pretty windy out here. I'm anxious to see if this video even picks up in the wind. On the uh, new iPhone, I don't have anything, any external microphones or anything. So it'll be interesting to see how this thing does. Talk to you in a bit. This is a uh, camp check-in. It's about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Just finished um, for the day, camp set up. Uh, just getting ready to uh, eat some dinner and go hang a bear bag. Um, so anyway, that's um, finished today with about 12.3 miles, a little less than what I wanted, but there's really no camping spots for at least another seven miles up the road. And I knew I wouldn't make it there by dark. So I've got about uh, two days to do about 32 miles. So got to kind of pick it up for the next two days. Uh, looks like it's about 17 miles today to Prairie um, Campground and I'll stay there the night, hopefully tomorrow night. And then it'll be about 15 more miles to the 88 store then on Sunday, uh, pick up my car and head home. So that's about it for the night. Gonna go ahead and eat and work maybe on a little bit of editing. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.